Hi, I'm Alfred Deutsch Beverage, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mash it. Mashing it is the process where you take your grist that's already been milled and you introduce it into your mash tun while thoroughly hydrating it in the process. A good mash is going to lead to uniform consistency throughout your whole mash tun, which is then going to result into higher conversions of the starches into the sugars that you want. So the first thing you want to do when mashing in is to bring some water over from the HLT into the mash tun. And you want to bring it to a level just above that false bottom. What that's going to do is provide a little bit of a cushion for your, the actual grist to fall onto. That way you don't have any potential of any grist kind of landing on those slits and potentially clogging anything up. Alright, so now it's time to actually bring in that grist. First thing I'm going to do is turn on my rakes. I'm going to turn on those rakes pretty fast just to start the initial uh, mixing there. Next thing I'm going to do is introduce water into my hydrator. So I'm putting in the exact quantity of what I've already had in my recipe designated for my mashed water. We've got water coming into our hydrator. Now I'm going to slowly open up the slide gate and introduce the grist. most important thing about actually introducing that grist is that you have a consistent feed into the hydrator. The more consistent you have it, the more consistent and uniform your actual mash consistency is going to be. Uh, this is going to decrease the potential for dough balls or hot spots or cold spots. You're just going to eliminate that just so you have a more uniform, higher conversion. Everything's going to be better in your actual mash. Alright, so then once your grist hopper is empty, all your grist is in your mash tun, all your water's there, then you're ready to begin your mash. Thanks for watching.